Today, I think what I want to kind of talk about with these six processes to start with is that I'm going to introduce them to you as practitioners. I'm going to try and explain them to you. But with clients, the explanation process should be should be subordinate to the practical application process. Said in simpler terms, I'm saying basically help clients to experience these things more than to understand them cognitively. Someone said, I think, I can't remember, I think it was Kelly Wilson in my interview with him. Um, he, he mentions, I think Robin says it in different ways after this talk, you'll hear that. The idea that learn all this stuff in ACT, learn the concepts, learn the, the philosophy and the theory behind it. But then when you go in with clients, kind of kindly leave some of that at the door when you come in. Because for ACT to work for people, most of the time it needs to begin with a practical experience of these things, like for example, a connection with what matters to them, more than a theoretical understanding of what values are and, and, um, and, you know, and what they do and the different qualities they have necessarily. So, so let's begin. Discovery exercises, discovery exercises. I want you to just kind of, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna do an exercise with you guys for a second. And I want to ask you if um, if you can just just you know take a moment here to look back over your life like like you know it's a big question to just put in but I just want you to pause even close your eyes for a moment and just kind of look back over your life up to, until this point up until today and I want you to sort of pick out one meaningful precious memory a moment that you cherish deeply. If you had to pick out one moment, a scene in your life, you know, a small scene, like, you know, you know, like a little clip, you know, of your life, just sort of playing through maybe, you know, a minute or, or five minutes or it could, you know, it could be a whole event. It doesn't need to be a short one, but just a experience of your life that you cherish on a very important level. Like if your if your mind was a whole bunch of, you know, boxes of memories that this box is, is very carefully kept, you know, in something very precious, you know, it's, it's very important, very honorable. And it doesn't need to be a moment of happiness, excitement, achievement, or fun necessarily. Although those features kind of might be tied into it. It's just a moment where you felt something important, where, where, where something that you treasure deeply actually happened, something that meant a lot to you. And I want you to just pause this video for a moment. And I want you to just take a moment to take yourself back to that memory and, 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 and just play it through. You know, what was that moment for you? And hopefully I'll even invite you to pause as I do. Just pause and kind of even write down the memory or just play it through. You know, as you can see in this slide, I've got this, um, the, a bit of the Intune model up there, you know, under the, under the heading Treasured Memories. If you remember this model, it kind of expressed that, you know, emotions represent where there is a harmony or disharmony between what I see and what I seek most. And, um, and how, you know, the, the degree of emotion really often relates to the degree of attachment to what I seek. 